Alright, welcome back for round two, everyone, as we do recurring nightmare on this shit. We won the dyro, and this is a snap key. <laughs> oh, look. Recurring <laughs> nightmare. nightmare. Benamar! Creature to sack. <laughs> Far too good. Recurring nightmare is, a, is one of those broken cards. It's broken in half, and then the pieces are broken in force. So, is Recurring and Nightmare um, a restricted card in Vintage? Or does it not even see play? No, it doesn't see play in Vintage, but... Why not? It's not it costs three mana. Oh. It's not even restricted in Legacy. No? Really? Yeah. That seems weird. It's like a good card. Yeah, it's an absurd card. But... Gonna run this out. Oh, so you didn't cycle? Uh, I didn't right away. I wasn't certain if we were gonna hit a fifth land or not. Oh. Oh, foggles. Foggles. <laughs> oh. Well, I can bounce that. You can bounce that. Cycle now. Hit another land. Okay. All good. I didn't even notice the screen change, really. Wow. Swamps for days. Okay. Um, Manowar. You know your three drop you played on turn two? Yeah, no. Okay, this is such a big window. It's free and annoying. Yeah, it's really annoying. Alright, so all we need now is like a Night Stalker. Right. Night Stalker, Dark Hatchling, one of the f those. Skull Clan! Oh that boy. That could be scary as all hell. <laughs> How much does Skull Clan cost to equip? One. Yep. Oh boy. Well, we might have been matched with an even more broken card. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna run out the send group of three. And get in for and try to swing for two, I guess. Yeah. Okay, why is my send group of three costing? Oh, okay. That was weird. It was like, still need to pay one of them. I'm like, what do you mean? Thanks, beta. <laughs> Hey, uh, be karate chopped by a jellyfish. He's gonna draw four cards. Oh, he's blocking with Elder? <laughs> he's like, wait a second. Why <laughs> block with Elder where I could draw four cards? Yeah, that doesn't seem like a great block. I would accept that block. Right, I'd be fine with it. Okay. So, um... Ideally, we draw one of our big guys, and then we just start my mirror looping. Yep. He's gonna draw a billion cards. Alright. He saw the play, which was draw seven cards. Four, but close enough. So I guess there's like a revealed zone here? Okay, so he revealed a plains and a forest. Okay, so, thank you. So we might still be able to up value boggles. We might, because there's no hexproof guys in this form. God. Oh. Yeah. Well, I can outvalue that for days. Hmm. If he wants to swing, I'll get in for five. We'll draw any one creature. It doesn't swing. Okay, so we take one. So we get in there with Manowar for sure. Yeah, so we swing with everything. Or do we block with Manowar? Maybe we block we? with Manowar. Yeah. yeah. Don't reveal the plan just yet. Play that. Because, I mean, like, next turn, we can just go Recurring Nightmare, Sack Manowar. You don't even have to put anything on it. Oh, does that have, a tar have to target? Yeah. Oh, it does have to get that one. Radiant. Okay. okay. Something to kill with would be good. He's not even attacking. No, uh, he was he's trying to tap to attack, and he was tapping for mana. Like, that's incredibly ambitious. And he he's does, not he's not attacking. Okay. What does he see the line? Maybe. Uh, what if I just repel this? Huh. Or do I repel Radiant and get him for three? I think we re hmm. we don't have any. Right I now. think we repel radiant. Okay. Because it costs five. Right. 
ta it taps him out again next turn. Yeah. And then we just get in for the same play. In for another three. Ha 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 ha. Take your damage. So we play, play infinite meta. Eventually we're going to bounce this stupid elf. Right. Sure, Radiance back. See if he gets in there this time. I hope he does. Radiance okay. five three, so it trades with our sender by free. That seems poor. Under the elfish butts. Okay, let's so, draw something. Akamiba best draw. Probably. Oh, All right. Um. <laughs> do we just? I could sack. Get or. I can. S if I swing. Will he trade? Yeah, for sure. So, play Recurring Nightmare, sack, bounce that, then sack the Manoir again using Recurring Nightmare to return the effort. Yeah. Okay. So, play this. This, sack that. This, bounce that. This. Turn this. I'm glad he's playing suboptimally because he could have gotten there for. We would be screwed for... otherwise. We would be in a deep shit. <laughs> yeah. If he swings, I'm blocking. By the way. You're gonna block. Yes, because we'll take out the radiant, and then we have to draw a creature eventually. That's right. I mean. You have to assume that you will draw a creature at some point when you have 15 creatures in the deck. Alright, so he's nine cards in hand? Yeah. <laughs> so he'll play his man, or he'll, or he'll play his or he'll first. Sure. That actually probably helps us. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll give him. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. <laughs> uh. Oh boy. This is bad. Yeah, this suddenly went from. Oh, to oh, land. Okay, we got a guy. So I can play this. Play recurring nightmare. Sack it. Get mana war. Bounce a token. Bounce a token. Yep. Yeah. He's gonna draw six cards. Yeah, he can. <laughs> play a land. <laughs> Uh, as if Battle Screech wasn't filthy enough. Right. Battle Screech plus Skull Clamp. Oh boy. Sounds fair. So he's gonna swing for five this turn? Yep. Okay. We don't block with the Man of War here because we have to nope. actually keep our guy alive this time because we don't have another guy just yet. Hmm. Yep. Minus one. Maybe we'll get him to deck himself. Unlikely. What if he's skull climbing enough? He can just literally play... ...and we die. Yep. <laughs> so Grizzly Bear? Agreed. Here's another Grizzly Bear? Probably a Battle Screech. Yeah, why not? Oh. No, that's a Grizzly Bear. <laughs> and that. Sure, <laughs> why not, right? Oh god. Okay, that that's actually something. Yeah, that does something. Okay, so we got Dark Hatchling, what are we killing? Probably Mistrin Griffin, and then we No, because we don't want to give him back Radiant right now, so we'll kill off Dream Pack Druids. Or kill off that, then play Recurring Nightmare and bounce a token. Or no, sorry. Recurring Nightmare, sack Manowar, get back Cinder Buffy. What? Well, we can't, we can't get that into the graveyard just to smell it. Oh yeah. So maybe I kill off a token. Because hmm. I don't want to give him Radiant for his turn. So I'm thinking we kill you, off a token. Why would you kill a token? So, so he yeah. doesn't draw cards, is it? Yeah. I think. Hmm. Or do we kill the Dream Pad Druid? 
think this guy. Okay, so we'll kill the Dream Pad Druid. And then we'll go land, recurring nightmare. Sack Manowar? Yeah. To get back Efreet. Alright. Because that's See if you can beat the value. Right, we're trying to outvalue him while he's just drawing a billion cards. <laughs> One. Yep. Sure. As I said, maybe so. we'll make him deck himself. It is a <laughs> legitimate possibility, because he's nine cards up on us. There's no way that happens. Well, if we can keep him stalled enough with recurring nightmare loops, it could happen. We actually do have the loop now, too. Right, we have a loop that literally just kills two guys a turn. At least, because we have mana to play Recurring Nightmare three times. So we actually <laughs> kill three th or three things a turn right now. Or kill, mm. bounce, or it, it alternates between two kills, one bounce, two bounces, one kill. But the point's yeah. the same. Uh, yeah. So... So actually, maybe we just don't attack and we just keep sacking. <laughs> 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 we have 12 turns with our Sender Buffreed right now. <laughs> There's no way that we win this game. He has eight cards in hand. Sure. But we gotta try somehow. Battle Screech, flashback Battle Screech, flashback Battle Screech. He's already flashback that one that's up in the corner. Okay. He's skull dropping again. More cards? Maybe he just doesn't have an answer to recurring to him. It's quite possible. It is possible, like... It's a card you can't really blow up, right? Right, I mean... Because it's part of the cost, right? Right. So, yeah, bouncing it is part of the cost of using it. Another thing that doesn't make sense to me with that card. Okay. And now if we kill the griffin, it gets back Fintorn Hills. Yeah, so we'll kill... Uh, We'll bounce the bird token, and then we'll kill the griffin. And then, then we'll bounce the Vala. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah. Yeah, that's how that works this turn. So we basically get to keep what, aping his field. We might actually swap out the Sender Buffery, too, so that way we'd stop taking damage from it. But we'll yeah, he can't even that. attack unless he does something here. Right. If he Okay, What's so he he flipped the top card of each of our decks. Oh, Phantom so Nomad. we d we're dr he's getting one green and a life, and he's drawing Phantom Nomad, and we're drawing and we drew Lonely Sandbar. Okay, I'm fine with that. He's got to have some play. He has ten cards in hand. Maybe all he can do is like suit something up, and then we just block at the. <laughs> <laughs> He is plain cycling. Because, <laughs> you know, at this point, your, de your hand has to be the same size as your deck. Yeah, his hand is the same size as his deck. Sure. I don't know what he's doing. He's digging for something obscene. He must have, like, a Swords to Plowshares or something. Decree. Maybe. A oh, Grizzly Fate. But don't that kill... Four, three of the tokens a turn. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So he goes to clean up discards a card. What he did what's he discarding? Planes. Okay, so we take one damage. Ouch. Circular logic. Okay, so uh what's the top creature? Noble, Noble Templar. Uh well, we don't want to necessarily give him that, but we'll figure it out. So we go Recurring Nightmare, get back Manowar, sack this. Yeah, Manowar, yeah, Manowar token. Recurring Nightmare. Get back Dark Hatchling. Do you want to sack the Manowar or this? I think we need the 3-4 as a blocker, unfortunately. Here. Okay, so we'll sack that. Er. Kill that. 
Because we're going to have Manowar. Or do you want to leave up Circular Logic for his turn? Um, to counter Grizzly Fate. It's flashback. I guess... I think we'll leave it up for now. Okay. I'll play, yeah, play this as an actual land, I guess. Boom. Fear our remarkable plays. Huh. So we killed off two of his bears already. <laughs> It's a problem with token-based strategies versus us. We just kill them! <laughs> Sorry. Tokens... Mm. We, uh, we are down running. on the clock by a, two, by a minute and 40 seconds. Move a little bit. Sure. He got a Banalish Trapper, we got a Vampiric Tutor. So he got a dead creature, we got a Vampiric Tutor. Tutor's not great, actually. What not right now. Um, I don't know. I know it's a... He's doing that. Oh, you have six. No, I didn't. Or, no. Oh, it's on the stack. Uh. Ooh. He has four mana? How many cards do we have? We only have four cards in our graveyard. Uh. So I guess it only taps him out. Guess we still do it. We still do it. Maybe he doesn't pay attention to the fact that he can pay for it. No, okay, he's paying for it. But that's neither here nor there. We can still get rid of three guys a turn, so. Yep. And what's he playing now? Probably drawing two cards. Well he did he tapped two mana. So Phantom Nomad probably. Because we knew he drew that. Or a trapper, or he's just doing that. If he swings, I'm blocking. Yeah. Which gets him back to Mobile Templar, and then we just kill it. Okay. Okay. So he just equipped. It's fine. Yeah. We're not actually going for that kind of kill right now. <laughs> more land equals more recur. Almost to the point where we get another recurring nightmare trigger. That's right, I only mean, need one more. Manor. Sack that. Manor, one of the tokens. Current Nightmare. Dark Hatchling. Sack Manor. Dark Hatchling, one of the tokens. Yeah. Now, with the Phantom Nomad there, maybe we should, uh. Hmm. Oh, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Manowar, ditch that. Maybe you should want. I was thinking kill that this turn, but it's fine. Bounce that. So he's down to just a few guys again. Well, it's not exactly a few guys, it's a lot of guys. It is a sizable amount of guys. He has six creatures right now. Which we block and trade with. We block two of them. So. Maybe we just tutor from land here. Maybe, but I don't want to lose the two life. <laughs> Fifteen minutes. Is this game won? Yes. Oh, man. We've used nearly ten minutes of gameplay time. Problem is, he can F6 through all our recurring nightmare shit. Yeah. He's getting in there with everything. Yep, so we will... Alright, so we will go to blocks. We will block... This against a bear. Uh -huh. We'll block that there so he gets back Phantom Nomad. Sure. Taking seven, going to three. <laughs> Guess he could have sudden strength to blow us out. Or not. We go to two. Yeah, we're going to two. We're definitely going to have to sack that at three. Another grizzly fate. Do I, do I think we scoop here? Do we have any else? Not to a second grizzly fate. Are you sure? Yeah, we're dead. Plus, we need to save the time. Double grizzly fate and skull. Yeah. 
Skull Clamp is unbeatable. Skull Clamp's crazy. Double Grizzly Fate. Is, I always lose to Grizzly Fate. Or almost always. I'm getting better at it. But I almost always lose to Grizzly Fate. Hmm. Fortunately, we don't even really have anything. New chat. No, no new chat. I don't know. Whatever. Do we have anything that we need? Um. Now this might be the deck where you bring this thing in. But how do we splash the green? I don't know. I guess we can just do it. Just like we have a mana prism. So we bring that mana prism in. We lose out on drift and. Chainer's Edict actually good versus him? I don't think so. We'll board out one Chainer's Edict. We're gonna board out one island. Add one forts. <laughs> I guess we can always vamp tutor for our forest. Right? Uh, what? I was thinking maybe we should bring in Aether Mutation also in that case. Yeah. Well. It's fine. Alright, we'll, we'll push. Well, we have well, this and the mana prism. It's got everything. Well, it's got a lot of things. <laughs> this will help us keep up a little bit on the cards. Because yeah. every time you use Skull Clamp, we'll draw a card too, basically. That's right. F6. The Amoeba. And then F6. Yeah. Actually, Ritual is going to be very good here, I think. I have a feeling you're right. This next turn we'll go Mana Prism. Turn after we'll go Amoeba. Or not Amoeba. Yeah. Ritual. Oh. Now we oh. Have, don't even need the Mana Prism. I can lead out with the Skywing even. Yeah. Perfect. Get there. Take your one, sir, and love it. I love it. Do you love it, John? Do you really love I it? I like it. I love it. I need some more of it. Do you? Oh. No. Hey, that's kind of cute. He'll have to sack. He'll sack that in response to. Oh wait, does it cost two to sack? Or cost one? two. Oh. <laughs> well. Oh, well. that's pretty good too. But we're gonna run this out. Boom. He's like, oh. He's like, oh, that's interesting. Then he's like, oh. Oh, my skull clamp makes me draw two and then draw one. I think that makes skull clamp like nearly infinitely worse, doesn't it? No, skull clamp is still better. <laughs> it's still awesome, but skull clamp becomes significantly worse when your opponent's drawing cards as well. He's using a guide on an elder. Yep. Oh. That is exactly what he's doing. So if we draw a land, we just... Oh, never mind. <laughs> um, so I'm going to get there with these guys, the mana pri Or actually, we'll just do mana prism, stop the fiend, then we'll get there. Yeah. We'll see what he's working with. What stuff are you working with? Take skull clamp. Ideally, yes. Uh, take Miss Moon Griffin. So that okay. way we can't get back that, I guess. Because his, his other hand's thing, not great. His hand's not great. I'm gonna take the Miss Moon Griffin because it's the only thing he can play for a little. I mean, he can play Templar next turn, I suppose. Yeah. Now, should we chump with? I I could see chumping with uh, Mesmeric Fiend because we'll draw a card off of it. I was thinking I was chump with Akamiba. Right? I think getting there for more damage is better for us right now. I mean, we don't really care if we give him back a Miss Moon Griffin, do we? Well, the Night Stalker's not great. Yeah, because he's well, going to sack the Elder. Yeah, we yeah. need... I think we chump here. Yeah, let's chump. We're not in great shape. We're not, but we're in playable shape still. 
back is Miss Moon Griffin. And then we draw a card. Do you wish to use this ability? Yes. Yeah. That's not the best draw. Okay, um... Well, we get in for two in the air, and then we lay down another Miba. And the free. We only have four. Oh, we do have five mana. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cancel. So yeah, we lay down both our creatures. So we go. Miba. Free. What was this hand? Griffin and... Uh, Tusker. Griffin, Tusker, and I think one more land. Jeez, maybe we double block. I'm a, I think we block there, and then we can just chump. And then get in for more. Okay. So we go. It allows us to get in for a little more damage. Which at this point is going to beco start becoming relevant. I think we'll still play the Night Stalker and he'll get an elephant now the deal, but Yeah. Once we get another black, obviously. We're at fifteen, he's at eleven. I think it's okay. Yeah, we get in for five in the air each turn now. He's trying to cast Tusker, but he can't because it costs seven. Yep. Okay. Maybe he sacks his guy here. Maybe. Gotta do something. I mean, if he sacks his guy, he gets an elephant, and he draws a card, and gets land, and then we get a card too. We well, already are getting a card. Are we? Oh yeah, Aquamira. Right. Yeah, unclear what he's gonna do. Three. Maybe he's gonna play his Griffin. Yeah, Griffin's fine. It gets back nothing. Oh, he's cycling the Tusker. Okay. Okay. And then he'll play a land and probably play the Griffin at that point. So he revealed a forest. Didn't play... Hmm? He didn't play the land. He just did. Oh, I didn't see it. Okay. And that gives him back Tusker? Yeah. I mean, I think we just gotta go for it, unfortunately. Well, do we play Night Stalker first, then? Um, I don't know, but let's make a quick decision on it. Yeah, because that gets Big Tusker. We get in for five in the air. And then we have a block here. Sure. So, and if he sacks Elder, then the Griffin gets back Elder, which is better for us. Right. So I'm assuming he'll sack Griffin. I would assume so, because he gets a 6-5, but you never yeah. know. Then we'll get him for 5 in the air. Chump, probably. 5 in the air. And then hopefully just kind of get there. Yeah. Oh, well, he sacked the Elder. Okay. Okay. Gets an Elephant. Guess that's better for us. Yep. So we reveal planes and forest. Okay, so we got planes and forest. Okay. So we'll get in for five in the air. If he blocks there, do we just accept it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, because it gets him back an elder, which I don't care about quite as much. Yeah. Manowar, that's pretty decent. Yeah, Manowar is great. So we can even trade off both guys. Yeah, we could. Or like. Well, we we just kill the elder and. Yeah. The, oh. Hello. That card. Equipped elder, draw a billion. Yep. 
Yes. Sounds good. At least we draw and we have Manowar for the tempo play. We do have Manowar for the tempo play, I agree. So we got a planes and probably another something. So he got he has a billion lands in hand. Yeah, he's just infinite. He has four lands in hand or something like that? Three? Four now? Or three now? Okay. Surprised he didn't suit up there. With what? Oh, with Clamp? Still Clamp, yeah. So do you want to trade here? Yeah. We need to not die. Agreed. And I will just let us take that three. Yeah, we'll take three. Battle Screech. I'm thinking it's actually Grizzly. If I produce two. They're both bad. Uh, cycle. Sure. Cycle into Grizzly Fate because he needed seven cards. He only has five. Okay, so Battle Screech. Battle Screech. Flashback Battle Screech. Of course. <sighs> Alright. At least we draw a card. Suit up to that. Interesting. Yep, draw the card. Chainer's Edict. <laughs> pretty bad. Yeah, pretty bad, I agree. Okay. We're still gonna use it, but it's pretty bad. And then we can mana wire away one of the tokens and swing. Oh. He's sacking that guy. Yep. That's interesting. So I think we still have Manowar one of the tokens and swing. Yep. Let's Aquamiba also, I guess. Yep. We can discard the swamp if he doesn't block Aquamiba. That way we get in for a little bit of extra damage. Okay, so okay. he's blocking there. Powering through the little bits of extra damage are going to make a difference here, so... And then we draw a card. So the Desperate Ritual actually works well in this match, because we've drawn like six cards off it. Yeah. When you and your opponent are killing each other's creatures a lot... Oh god. He had two Battle Screeches and two Grizzly Fates? Holy f... <laughs> Yep. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you know, just in case. And now a flashback. So, do we just scoop here? No. We are so fucked. Oh. Are we? Uh, unless we can find a way to power through five damage. He now has four bears and six flyers. Okay. And we're at eight. One. Cycle Sandbar? Yep. I think we're pretty fucked. Well, alright, we can bounce a flyer, make him trade with another flyer, I suppose. Or do mm -hmm. we bounce a bear? I think we have to... Mm. Did you play land already? No? Yeah. Or no. There's a land. So I we think have, have to bounce a flyer. It's the only way we have any hope of getting here for damage, I suppose, to get rid of flyers. Yeah. Then I can play the Skywing Haven. Do I swing? I think so. Alright. We take... We unfortunately have to block all the bears, I think. Yeah, we have oh, to block yeah. every bear, then go to four. Okay. We can't kill every bear, but we can block every bear. And just maybe he has nothing in hand. You mean he doesn't flash back his grizzly fate? Well, maybe he has like maybe he swings with all the flyers and then I don't know. We draw a recurring nightmare. Maybe. And bounce some stuff. We have to get really lucky, I think. Like absurdly lucky. Yeah, he basically has to swing with all his flyers. Like be stupid. So he's okay. drawing cards. Step one. Step one. Your opponent draws a bunch of cards. Step two. Now if he gets win. If he gets rid of another flyer, we draw a recurring nightmare. We actually win. Oh. All these guys are pro blue. We're dead. <laughs> Can't see. Oh. Was our top card recurring nightmare? Thanks, Beta. Beta didn't even let me see. 
Wait, okay, here we are. Top card. Island. Lonely sandbar. Swamp. 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 <laughs> That's beta telling you you're fucked, by the way. <laughs> When you have six lands in a row that you haven't drawn, that's beta saying, stop looking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think we played that many swamps. Uh, I think we have one more swamp beyond that. When, when, where's our recurring nightmare? Dark Hatchling, Repel, Island, Vampiric Tutor. There's your recurring nightmare is right under the Vamp Tutor. So we'd Vamp Tutor for a recurring nightmare and be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. All unfortunately, right. unfortunately, the only way to beat Battle Screech is to play Claws of Wirewood. I don't think I've ever beat it with any other Sorry, player. you've been eliminated. You're welcome to replay completed rounds of the tournament above. Shut up. Beta, I'm going to kill you. Yes, so, X that. Alright, well, thank you for watching our defeat at the hands of Skull Clamp. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, that sucked. Any other comments, John? Okay, good enough. Um, as per usual, people, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, tell us what we did right, tell us what we did wrong, um, share the channel. Any new comments, John? None. Okay. And you all have a great day. Enjoy any pre-releases you're going to. And we'll see you in the next draft.